Good evening, Beatrice. Hi, good night. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Very I'm nice. Work Working? Yeah. Oh my God. Very late, huh? Yeah. I'm working the airport. Oh my God. So you have to be always working? Yes. Okay, I understand. How was your weekend? Um, interesting. Really interesting. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, I cannot ask you where did you go because I suppose you stay home, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what did you do? Excuse me? What did you do? Um, you just made my my homework of the university and, okay. mm -hmm. and uh, I was working in the platform. Okay, very nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very new, no, very good. Okay. Yeah. You know, this time is a little bit different, right? We have to, yeah. we have to do many things at home. Okay, so that's quite different. That's yeah. very nice. Very, very happy to have you here. Happy to have you here. Omar is here, a lady is here. Good evening, guys. I'm very happy to have everybody here. Xiomara, okay, is joining us too. Okay, Xiomara Larcon, right? Hi, good evening, everybody. How was the weekend, Omar? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how was the platform? Did you finish the platform? Did you finish, Omar, the, uh, the, the exercises in the platform? Aleida, what about you? Did you finish? Yes. Section five? Yes. Okay, very good. That's very nice. Well, today the, uh, we start section five, okay, just in case you have problems doing some exercises. These um, classes that we're going to be having this week, Okay, I'm going to help you okay, understand a little bit more about the topics. We have two topics, okay? We have the first one, the, the one that we are going to study tonight, that it's about future plans, okay? We are going to talk about future using uh, the verb be plus going to, okay? This is the topic that we are going to uh, study tonight, okay? Some minutes ago, I sent... Um, PDF document to the WhatsApp, okay, group, so you can have different questions to practice, okay? I'm going to start here uh, with uh, some information, okay? Um, I have it here, okay? We're going to start with leisure time, okay? Leisure activities, okay? What is leisure, teacher? Well, leisure in this case, guys, is free time. It's another way to say, Free time, leisure, okay, leisure activities. And now we have here three categories. Spectator sports, we have friendly gatherings. Gatherings is another way to say meetings, okay? Friendly meetings and live performances, okay? So I have here um, some, some phrases or words. Uh, we start with barbecue. The number one, baseball game, beach party, bicycle race, birthday party, dance performance, picnic, play, rock concert, singing, okay, in this case, I'm sorry, uh, let me tell you, play, in this case, ya no es jugar, sino que aquí va a ser como una obra, okay, de las que vamos a ver al teatro, okay, so play, rock concert, singing contest, tennis match, and volleyball tournament, okay? This is what we're gonna do. We're going to put the words in the correct uh, category, okay? We are going to start with Beatrice. Bar Beatrice, you are going to help me with barbecue. Where do you think barbecue uh, goes? In spectator, friendly, or live performances? Tell me. Friendly gathering. Okay, friendly. friendly friendly gathering. So over here, we are going to have a barbecue. Okay, very good. Okay, let's continue. Alegda, number two, baseball game. Uh, 
Hello, Inspector Sport. Spectator, uh -huh. sport. Spectator, sport. Okay, very good. So this is baseball, okay, game. Very good. Uh, con let's see the, the number three. It's going to be for uh, Jader. Me acabo de conectar, teacher. Y... Ah, okay, okay, uh, Jader. I have here, Jader, some uh, vocabulary, okay? Barbecue, baseball game, beach party. Okay, bicycle race, etc. What you have to do, yeah, there is to tell me the answer. Where do you think each word belongs to? Okay, for example, spectator sports, todos los deportes que uno va a ver. Okay, so friendly gatherings, son las reuniones amistosas, and live performances. Okay. So in this case, uh, for example, yeah, there, a uh, beach party. Where do you think it, it goes? Beach party. Beach party, mm -hmm. live, live performance. Live performance, okay. Yes. Este es como un, algo que se da en vivo. Estilo de vida. Ajá, no, este es como algo, una actividad en vivo, un concierto, ah. un, ajá. Okay, so, eh, una fiesta en la playa, where, where do you think it goes? Mm -hmm. Friendly gathering. Aha, uh -huh, very good. A friendly gathering, very good. Okay, that's it. Una reunión amistosa, right? Okay, beach party, that's it. Eh, Sioma, eh, let me see here, Hugo. Okay, Hugo. What about bicycle race? Bicycle race mm -hmm. and it's, it's spectator sports. Okay, spectator. Okay, spectator, spectator sports. sports. Excellent. Okay, very good. So we have here bicycle. Okay, race. Very good. Continue, please, Xiomara. Uh, birthday party. Uh, friendly gatherings. Okay, very good. Okay. Birthday, eh, let me see here, birthday party. Excellent, okay, very good. Omar, what about dance performance? Dance performance. Omar, can you hear me? Are you there, Omar? Well, we continue. Andrea, dance performance. Where do you think it belongs? Dance performance. Live performance. Okay, live performance. Okay, very good. That's it. Dance performance. Okay, very good. Continue, please. Uh, Edgar, hello, Edgar. Picnic. Hello, teacher. Uh, friendly gathering. Gathering, uh -huh. Gathering. excellent, uh -huh. very good. Okay, picnic, let's continue. Okay, Carolina, play. In this case, as I said, this play is a una obra de teatro, okay? Friendly gatherings, a play. Mm, in this case, because if you go to a theater, for example, in this case, a Caroline, okay, a play is a live performance. Es algo que usted lo va a ver en vivo, okay? So in this case here, we have play here, okay? That's it. Uh, let me check a rock concert, okay? Omar, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, of course, teacher. Uh, I'm okay. Here. <laughs> okay, Omar. <laughs> Rock concert, Omar. Spectator sports, friendly gathering, or live performance? Uh, okay. Oy. Rock concert belongs to a uh, live performance. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Rock concert. That's it. Very good. Let's continue. Live with performance. One. Uh -huh, very good. Live performance. Very good. Let's see a uh, once again, Hugo. Okay, Hugo. What about singing contest? 
singing contest. Okay. Eh, what a meaning? Singing is cantar, right? Contest es como un, un, un concurso, okay? De canto, right? For example, la voz, okay? Singing contest. Live performance. Okay, live. Live performance. Live uh, performance. Okay, very good. That's it. Live performance. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the singing contest. Okay. Singing. Okay. Contest. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Yader, once again, tennis match. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tennis match. Uh, live performance. Live performance, a tennis match. Or oh, spectator, spectator. Spectator sport. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Aha, uh -huh, spectator sport. Okay, very good. That's tennis match. Okay, very good. Volleyball. Okay, uh, Beatriz, volleyball. Volleyball is friendly. No, spectator sport. Aha, uh -huh, okay, very good. That's it, volley. Okay, in this case, we have volleyball, okay, a tournament, right? That's it. Okay, very good. So, we have this uh, vocabulary, guys, because today we are going to talk about future plans, okay? I do understand that this time in El Salvador is a little difficult, okay? And we don't have, a, um, you know, maybe that we have the time but we don't have the chance to go out from the house okay but we are going to pretend okay we are going to pretend that we are going to do many things here so i have here uh, this information okay because today we are going to study be going to okay the present a uh, the present continues, okay? And also, we are going to practice the verb be plus going to for future, okay? Here, I have a, in English, you can express future in different ways. Tonight, I'm going to show you two ways, okay? The first way is a, with present continuous. The present continuous a, some months ago, you studied the present continuous when you are doing the action in the moment. For example, what are you doing right now, Aleida? And maybe Aleida says, oh, I am, I am eating a cookie, teacher, right now. So when you are doing an action in the moment. But also the present continuous uh, is used to express future. The only thing you have to do is to add the time expressions. So pay attention to the time expressions. Tonight, that is esta noche, okay, tomorrow, on Friday, or on Thursday, on Wednesday, on Saturday, etc. This weekend and next week, okay? Those are the time expressions that we are going to use in this class. Why not next year? Next, uh, in two years, for example, the uh, present, okay, continues. So the verb be going to for future is used for near future. Para un futuro cercano, near future. If we talk about next year, also we have to use other structures. So that's why the time expressions that we're going to use tonight are uh, for short terms, okay? Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, uh, on Thursday, okay, this weekend, next Sunday, next Saturday, next week, the most, okay? That's it. So, how are we gonna use this? In this case, we have a future with present continuous. What are you going, uh, I'm sorry, what are you doing tonight? Es una pregunta, ok. Si usted solo le preguntan, what are you doing? Usted pues puede interpretar qué estás haciendo. Pero si ya le dicen, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing, ok, next eh, Friday, for example? You have to think 
that the question is in future. The question is not in present. The question is in future because of the future or the time expressions are in future. So you have to answer with this. I'm going to a soccer match. What are you doing tomorrow? This is the question that can, it, somebody can have, okay? What are you doing tomorrow? So you have to start using this, this structure, okay? Uh, but expressing, okay, something for tomorrow. I'm going to show you the, in this uh, board, okay, the structure that we have to use, okay? Because we are gonna have two structures tonight, okay? The first structure is pronoun, okay? Um, we are going to have here, the verb be am, is, or are, plus the verb, pero miren cómo va a ir este verbo, el verbo va a ir con ing, look, okay, that's it, plus the uh, time expression in future, okay, that's it. So, this is the first structure. For example, the question, as I said before, the question is very easy, okay? What are you doing, okay, tomorrow? Okay, let's start uh, answering this. This is the question, uh, ¿Y qué vas a hacer mañana? The present continuous for future is used for activities that you know that you're going to do. Something that you are really sure, okay? So... The question is, in this case, I'm going to ask, okay, uh, for example, Edgar. Edgar, what are, you, what are you doing tomorrow, Edgar? So, Edgar, you have to answer using the structure that I have here, okay? Ah, uh, voy a ver tele. Uh, yo voy a cocinar, yo, etc. Okay, so, Edgar, what are you doing tomorrow, Edgar? Uh, uh, I am going to work tomorrow. Okay, that's it. Ahora, él está usando dos verbos allá. Está diciendo, I am going to work. Esta estructura es la que no lleva going to. Okay, porque esa es la segunda que vamos a ver. So, this is different. Usted tiene que decir, I am working tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. Lo que quiero que vean es que aquí no lleva el going to, ¿ok? Because Edgar is pretty sure. Cuando usted está demasiado seguro de lo que va a hacer, pues usa el presente continuo como futuro, ¿ok? So, what are you going to do tomorrow? Well, él está seguro de que va a ir a trabajar. So, he says, I am going, ¿ok? To work, dijo Edgar. Ahí usándolo con esta estructura es, I am working tomorrow. Ok. Other activity. For example, eh, Andrea. What are you doing tomorrow, Andrea? I, I working tomorrow. Ok, I'm working tomorrow. Give me other example, please, because I already have I'm working. Okay, I'm um, watching TV tomorrow. Ah, okay, I'm watching, okay, I'm watching TV tomorrow. Okay, that's it. Look, para ya no decir, I am going to watch. Eso está malo, teacher. No, 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 it's not bad. But remember, we have to practice two structures, okay? This is the first structure, okay? Ahora hagámoslo en tercera persona. Well, so you have to say this is Edgar, right? Edgar is working, right? And the other is uh, Andrea, right? Andrea is watching TV, okay? Watching um, TV, Tomorrow, she said. 
Ok, that's it. Es para que vean que se puede hacer con I am, Edgar is, contracted, full, ok, full sentences or using contractions, right? No problem. So, this is the first structure. Look at the second structure and this is the one that we're going to practice. Ok, pronoun, y miren ahora, ok, plus am, is, are, plus going to, eh, plus verb, plus a time expression, right? That's it. So, look at this. This is different. This is different. Here, pronoun, pronoun. Verb to be, verb to be. So, it's the same. De ahí dice que quiere el verbo con ng. Y aquí dice going to plus verb. So, esa es la respuesta que me dio Edgar, right? Why are we going to use the going to structure for plans? Algo que usted ya pensó. A ver, el jueves cuando me toca ir al súper, me, me voy a comprar una pizza. Ok, so this is a plan you have. Ok, so in this case, the present continuous as future is used for things that you are, ok, activities that you are very sure you have to do. In this case, the going to structure is for plans, ok, so hagamos planes para el sábado, ok, so for example, in this case you have to use the other structure, Omar, what are you going to do, look at the question, is different, what are you going, ok, to do next Saturday, Omar? I'm going to meet with my friends ah, okay. on Saturday night. Okay, Omar is going to meet uh, with, with his friends. Uh -huh, friends. Very good. At night. Okay, very good. That's it. Look, this is different. Ahora, si Omar me dice, si sí, fíjese que me voy a reunir con mis amigos a las 7 de la noche en frente de la casa, es más específico. So you have to use Omar is meeting using present continuous because you are giving the time, specific date. You have more, okay, more information to give. But just like, ah, me voy a reunir con mis amigos. Okay, Omar is going to meet. So look at this. This is very, very different. The structure is longer, okay? And you are using the verb be going to and the verb in the base form. Okay, very good. Other, uh, other question, okay? I like that. What are you going to do next Saturday, I like that. I am going to sing. To sing. Ah, Aleida is going to sing, okay? Well, if you don't know, Aleida is a good singer. She's a singer, okay, Aleida? So, Aleida is going to sing, okay? Very good. That's it. That's her plan. Very good. Uh, what about you, Carolina? What are you going to do next Saturday? Um, mm -hmm. What are you I going to do next going, Saturday? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you repeat, please? Mm. <laughs> I am <laughs> going to cook. Excellent. Caro mm -hmm. is going to cook. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's it. Excellent. Uh -huh. Ahora, si Caro quiere decir lo de la forma de arriba, va a decir, I am cooking. Si Aleida quiere decirlo usando la estructura de arriba, va a decir, I am singing. Ok. So, con la primera estructura, el verbo va con ING. En la segunda estructura, el otro verbo, el verbo principal, va en su forma original. Ok, that's it. Hey, teacher, what about negatives? Teacher, yo no voy a salir. Teacher, yo no voy a trabajar. In negative, so you use only the verb to be in negative. What is the negative for am? I'm not. 
What is the negative for is? Is not or isn't. And what is the negative for are? Aren't or are not. Okay? Uh -huh. So, Caro is not going to cook. Bueno, la ley va a cantar, pero Xiomara no. Uy, Xiomara no, 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 no. So, Xiomara is not going to sing. Okay? Eh, other example, Edgar is not going to work. Okay? So, you see, you are using the verb be in negative. Okay? These are the common questions. What are you going to do? Okay? Or what are you doing? In the structure, okay, at the end, the time expression is always at the end. Do you have a question so far or comment if you want to comment something? Everything is clear, I suppose? Clear, yes. Okay, very good. That's it. So, we are going to practice then, okay? Because the idea is to practice, okay? I'm going to show you here these exercises that we are going to do uh, right now. We are going to do it together. Okay. So, uh, here it says, uh, are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. Uh, we're going to this acá. What is she going to do tomorrow? She is going to work until five. Look, this is the contraction. Uh, are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. This is like answering like verb B questions, okay? That's it. So, complete the invitations in column A. This is column A. These are invitations with present continuous. Con la estructura que les di primero. Used as future. Complete the responses in column B with be going to with the second structure, okay? So here, my friends, I have the verb do. Esta primera me la van a hacer con present continuous. I need a volunteer, okay, to help me, okay, in this exercise. Is, is there a volunteer here? What are you doing tonight? Ah, very good. What are you doing tonight excellent can you can you read the question uh, completely please what are you doing tonight would you like to go out okay go out mm -hmm. go out very okay. good would you like to go out excellent very good second volunteer for the second cent uh, question please are you doing anything on friday night do uh -huh. you want to see a movie Excellent, very good. Are you doing? Miri, vas a hacer algo en la noche, el sábado, el viernes en la noche, right? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Okay, this is an invitation. Very good. Thank you. Number three, other volunteer, please. Present continuous, number three. We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Ah, very good. We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Question, Xiaomi? Would you and your parents like to come? Okay, very good. Would you and your parents like to come? Okay, very good. This is like, mira, fíjate que vamos a tener una barbacoa el próximo... No crees que tu papá puede meter como... Ok, this is, we are having, ok, that's it. Si Edgar va a tener una fiesta, va a decir, hey teacher, eh, my family and I, o oh, I am having a, a party on Sunday night, would you like to come? Oh Edgar, I'm sorry, I am eh, eating pupusa a los planes de renderos. Ah, en el pasado, veo ya no. <laughs> ok, number four, other volunteer please. Present continuous. Are you staying in town next weekend? Mm -hmm. Very good. Are you staying? Very good. Okay. Are you staying in town next weekend? Okay. Do you want to go for a hike? Okay. Very, very good. Now we are going to answer with press, uh, in this case for future, using be going to. Okay, so letter A, is there a volunteer? 
Letter A. I going to hear on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Okay, se comió el verbo. Este es el verbo, oh, perdón. Este es el verbo principal, miren. B. Okay. I am yeah. going to. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. I am going to. Ponga el verbo en su B. forma normal. I am going to be here on Saturday. Excellent. Ajá, uh -huh. oops. Am, um, ven. I'm going to be. That's it. This is. Okay. Oh, aquí casi no se ve. I'm going to be. This is a uh, guys the 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 original form of the verb be. Nunca vayan a decir I am going to is. I am going to are. I am going to am. Okay, no. I'm going to be. This is like voy a estar. Okay. Ah, uh, for example, eh, Beatrice. There is a party next Saturday. Would you like to come? Dígame, voy a estar ocupada, teacher. Tell me, Beatriz, in English, how would you say voy a estar ocupada? I'm going to stay ocupada. Okay. okay, in this case, I am going to be. Voy a estar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. El verbo estar... Ok, ocupado es busy, busy, ok, I am going to be busy, ok, that's it, so this is for future, cada vez que quiera decir voy a estar o voy a ser, you have to say I am going to be, ok, ay cuando yo crezca voy a ser policía, decía, right, I'm going to be a police officer, I am going to be ¿Ve? Voy a estar allá, ahí te, ahí te veo. I am going to be there, ok? That's it. So, letter B. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college. Can you But repeat, please? Can you repeat in the first part, please? I'm well, sorry to interrupt you. My father is going to Uy, visit. se comió algo. My, uh, sí, well, my father... Is going ah, uh -huh. to very good. Yes. Lo voy a contractar, okay? In this case, my father's eh? going, going to, to visit. visit. Uh -huh. That's it. My father's okay. Going to visit my brother. Continue, please. But my mother and I are going to be home. Excellent. Well, uh -huh. love to come. Are going. To be, ¿ve? that's it. Pero mi mamá y yo estaremos en casa. Nos encantará ir, right? We are, okay, my mother and I are going to be home. That's it, very good. Letter C, thank you for your participation. Okay, letter C, other volunteer. Me. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, Bea. Sorry, sorry, I can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about okay. tomorrow? Okay, very good. That's it. La voy a hacer completa. I'm going to work. Okay. I'm going to work. That's it. Overtime tonight. Okay. Very good. Letter D. Thank you. Can we go? Number, uh, letter D, please. Number four. Present continuous with B going to. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we go uh, to, the, to a late show? Uh -huh. I am going to stay at the office at till seven. Seven, yeah. excellent. Okay, um, okay, apostrophe. That's it. I'm going to stay right i'm going to stay at the office okay till seven very good so las preguntas acá si ustedes se dan cuenta usualmente van con el present eh, continuous right and the answers that's it los podemos ir eh, mezclando okay so la respuesta que dio edgar anteriormente por cuestiones de que les estaba explicando la estructura por eso le dije que no dijera going to work okay but Uh, when you speak, 
it would be correct. Okay, that's it. So look, we are having, no es lo mismo de decir este, en la estructura, okay? Uh, we are going to have, remember, cuando usen going to, the verb is in the base form. No digan, I am going to having, I am going to drinking, no. I am going to have, I am going to drink, I am going to visit, she is going to do, she is going to be, etc., etc. Okay? Questions so far, guys? Clear? Beatrice, questions, Hugo? Comments? It's clear. Mm -hmm. It's clear? Okay, that's okay. Well, if you have a question, let me know, huh? because this is important, okay, to, to have this topic done. So, let's go, please, right now to your WhatsApp group, guys. Uh, in your WhatsApp, I sent some exercises, okay, for practicing, but today you are going to do it orally, okay? Uh, what do you have there? You have a, a PowerPoint, a PowerPoint, I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm checking the questions right now. Okay, I have here yes. a grammar discussion. Are we going to, okay? You are going to work in pairs, okay? You are gonna work in pairs. For example, if Omar works with Jader, so Omar, you are going to be the student A, and Jader, you have to be a student B. So you have different questions, right? And my friend Omar starts. For example, okay, Yader, what are you going to do after class? So Yader, you have to answer with the structure with going to, okay? So uh, I am going to watch TV. Okay, very good. Then Yader, question for Omar. Ahora Yader va a ver el estudiante B y en pre pregunta, what are you going eh, to do, okay? Eh, what are you going to do after class? What are you going to do tomorrow, okay, afternoon, tomorrow morning? Uh, what are you going to do tomorrow night, etc. okay? Omar asks one question, the other answers, okay? And you will start having an oral activity, okay? I'm gonna be listening to you, answering questions or helping you out with vocabulary, okay? Let's accept the invitation right now. Let's practice with this topic of be going to. Um, well, it Tú vas, usted va a ser la, la, la estudiante B o la... <risas> Vaya, ah, entonces. Ah, ok, entonces yo soy el B. Entonces... Me extrañas entonces a preguntarte. Ok. What are you going to do after class? Uh, I... Eating. Ok. <risas> What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Tomorrow in the morning. Uh, I'm going to eat. Again. <laughs> Come on, Edgar. Xiaomi, one day you will meet Edgar face to face. Edgar is like eh, la ñoño, very fat. <laughs> no, Edgar is very, very thin and he eats a lot. I don't understand why he doesn't get weight. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, you are going to eat, but breakfast, right, Edgar? Yeah, breakfast. Okay, very good. Continue. Um, what are you going to do tomorrow night? Uh, night. Uh... I, I, I watch on TV. Mm -hmm. Is anyone in your class going to have a birthday party soon? Anyone in your class is going to have a birthday party soon? 
puedo responder eso. You know? Well, in this case, if you don't know, you can say, well, I don't know. <laughs> or Ajá, I don't sí. think so. O no Ajá. lo creo. Ajá. I don't think so. Or if you are sure, you can say, for example, eh, oh, yes, Carolina is going to have a birthday party. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Depends. Depends your, your answer, right? Okay, teacher. Uh, Next. Yes. Everyone in your class going to have a birthday party soon? No, they aren't. They aren't. Okay. Good. Um, what time are you going to get up tomorrow? I'm what time? going to. Hmm? I'm going to get up tomorrow around two four a.m. Oh, it's very early. Yeah, it's for my work. It's okay. My work. Yeah. Four a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for a game, okay. Number six. When you when are you going to exercise next? When are you going to exercise next? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> really. <laughs> After the quarantine, diga. <laughs> After the quarantine, okay. I am, I am going the to COVID. exercise. Uh -huh. I am going to exercise uh, maybe in one month. Okay, good. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to watch TV tonight? Um, no. No, okay. No, no. You say no. no I am not. Mm -hmm. No, no I, am I am not. not. Uh huh. Very good. Okay. <laughs> hey, how are you going to tomorrow? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, there. Tell la me. Cinco, la cinco en, en el A y en el B no sabemos cómo responder. Number five. What time are you going to get up tomorrow? Sería number four. No, no, cuatro, cuatro, cuatro. Ah, no, number four. He said, uh -huh. is your class going to have a birthday party soon? For, aquí es como si alguien de tu clase va a tener una fiesta de cumpleaños pronto. Sí, Entonces, pero ¿cómo contestamos? Usted, dice, usted puede decir, pues well, no lo sé. Well, I don't think so. O I don't know. Uh -huh. okay. O sea, no, no estaríamos usando going ni no, nada. En caso que quiera decir, nadie va a celebrar, you say, no, no one is going to have a birthday party soon. This is the answer, right? Mm -hmm. Si usted no sabe, no one. No one is going to have a birthday party soon. Pero si sabe que alguien va a celebrar el cumpleaños, pues va a decir, oh, um, Carolina is going to have a birthday party soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Si no sabe, si nadie, pues diga no one. Pero si alguien en específico, you mention the name of the person and you say going to uh, have a birthday party. Y si no sabe, pues diga, well, Andrea, I don't know, I'm sorry. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay. Go ahead, continue. Thank you. Okay, number five. What time are you go going to get up tomorrow? I'm going to eat. Platano, tomorrow. Uh -huh. Platano. Sí, plátano. Sí, oh, fry banana, sí. fry banana. Ah, banana, sí. Ajá, fry, ba, ba, pero plátano fritos. Sí, fry uh -huh. banana. Fry bananas, ok, very good. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? Ok, I'm going to 11. Tonight. Mm -hmm. Can you can you repeat, Andreita, please? I'm going to mm -hmm. 11 okay. tonight. Y ahí pone el verbo después del tú, Andrea. Pre oiga I... la pregunta. Jather, can you repeat the question? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? Ahí está el verbo. Mire, go. Bed. Go to bed. Go. Mm -hmm. 
Ok, sería I going to bed. Uh -huh. to go. I am going to go to bed o I am going to bed. Ahí no, no importa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, sería I going to, to bed. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Eleven. At eleven, ok, very good. At eleven. Uh -huh. Number six, perdón. When, no. when are you going to exercise next? When are you going? Um, Cuando voy a hacer el próximo ejercicio, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, exercise, but exercise in a gym, in the gym. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nunca hasta no, que no. <laughs> Ok, I so you too. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, bueno, veamos. Be I'm, positive, ya yeah, there. Be positive. <laughs> bueno. I'm going to exercise mm -hmm. on Sunday. On Sunday, okay, very good. Okay. When are you going to cook next? I'm going to cook pupusa. Mm -hmm. Can you make pupusas? Yes. Oh, good. Very nice. Uh, are you going to watch TV tonight? If yes, what are you going to watch? To watch. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I watch. Oh, no, I so. I. Uh... <laughs> no, I not. Okay. You're not going to watch TV? I know. I know ah, that's okay, true. okay. Mm -hmm. El siete. When are you going to eat dinner tonight? I'm going to eat uh, tacos. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you going to get home from school today? Bus, taxi. Um, I'm going to get home in bus. By bus. By bus. Mm -hmm. Very good. Here I cut, I, I did cut my hair. I cut. I cut, no. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Así va que es irregular, ¿verdad? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, okay, um, okay, in this case, show me you want to say el año pasado me corté el cabello. I cut my hair last year. Uh -huh. Pero usted se lo cortó. Ah, pues. O se lo cortaron. Me lo cortaron. Ah, entonces, ok. Si, si alguien se lo cortó, como esta cuarentena es normal que se estén cortando uno mismo el pelo, right? <laughs> entonces usted dice, I cut my hair. Sí, uh -huh. pero como usted fue a un salón a que se lo cortaran o se lo cortó su hermana, no sé, entonces usted va a decir en inglés, I had my hair cut. I had. En pasado, I had my hair cut. Ok. Ok. Si es en futuro que se lo van a cortar, hey, voy a que me corten el cabello, usted va a decir, I am going to have, in present, I am going to have my hair cut. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Porque si uno dice, I am going to cut my hair, quiere decir que usted misma se lo va a cortar. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I'm asking you, because in this time, it's very common that the person, you know, Herself is doing that. Y yo pensaba que se podía, así como nosotros entendemos, ¿verdad? En español. Sí, fíjese que el español también está mal dicho. Ajá. Porque usted dice, ¿y qué hiciste ayer? Bo? Ah, fíjate que ayer me, me quitó una muela. Ajá. <ríe> <Y> ayer, <ríe> en la casa. No, fui que me quitaran una muela. O si no decimos, ¿vas a venir mañana? No, fíjate que me voy a ir a hacer unos exámenes al seguro. Si usted no se los va a hacer, se los van a hacer. So, hasta en español hablamos mal, hablamos mal. ya lo traducimos mal en inglés, ¿verdad? Right? Uh -huh. sí. Ya, más adelante, esta, esta estructura la vamos a ver más adelante, ¿ok? Ok. En este caso, I had my hair cut. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay. 
Mm -hmm, very good. Other question? Uh, what are you going to do on Friday night? On Friday night. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch TV series the whole night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. What are you going to watch, Xiaomi? Um, Dawson's Creek. Ah, Dawson. Dawson's Creek. No, yeah. wait. Uh, the, 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 the series from the 90s. Uh -huh. yes. hey, it's beautiful. <laughs> Estoy viendo de nuevo. <laughs> where, where are you watching it? On Amazon Prime. Oh, really? Mm. I don't have Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. sorry. I have Netflix, but people say that Amazon Prime is better. Uh -huh. in, Amazon, in Amazon Prime, hay series de las viejitas. Oh, gosh. I love uh -huh. that, that series. I remember I cried <laughs> in some episodes. Okay, sí. very good. Congrats. Okay, very good. And you, Edgar, what are you going to do next Friday night? Um, it. <laughs> Eat, <laughs> or maybe eat and watch the series, teacher. Uh, yeah, everybody's watching TV, right? Yes. Yeah, sure. it's a common. Yeah, because we don't we don't have more things to do or read. Do you read? Mm. I. Mm -hmm. No, uh, maybe I wrong in my house. <laughs> ah, you're wrong in your house. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. Very nice. Congrats. I yes. I, I I don't do exercise. No. Ha. So when I come back from the quarantine, <laughs> I am so, I feel fat. Yeah, really. Uh, can you imagine if you feel it? So I am very three times more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And show me what about you, show me? Are you are you are you thin? I'm thin. Ah, you are thin. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. So you don't you don't see the consequences. <laughs> yeah, I see the consequences, but I have to yes. Yeah, I am. I, I promise I'm going to. I'm. I'm going to start. I'm going to start next week. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 something that I have to because I feel better with more energy. If I mm. I have a bicycle, so here in the place where I live, I can ride a bicycle. Uh huh. So. I can do it, but um, I have been very lazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Questions with the uh, with the discussion? No. No. Okay. No. Very good. Let's ah, ah, come back sí, to sí, the sí, sí. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. este, ¿Cómo traduciría en inglés? When are you going to cook next? Pero la la última next. ¿Cómo eh, se traduciría en español? When are you going to cook next? Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo vas a cocinar a la próxima vez? Otra, otra vez, ¿verdad? <ríe> si ya cocinó. Uh -huh. mm. Por ejemplo, llega alguien a su casa y le llega a hacer una lasaña, right? ¿Y cuándo mm. vas a volver a cocinar? Eso, right? When are you going to cook next, right? Y en la primera dice, when are you going to exercise next? Es, ¿cuándo vas a volver a hacer ejercicio? Uh -huh. That's mm. it, okay. Taking into consideration that you always do exercise, right? <ríe> <laughs> okay, that's it. For example, ahorita we have, oh, that's a difficult question to answer, right? Because we don't know because of the times, right? We are living. Mm -hmm. That's why we have next at the end, right? Okay. okay. Other question? No? No. No, okay. teacher. Very good. Let's come back to the main session to wrap up the, the class. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, very good. That's it. Any questions related to, to the, 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 the discussion? Vocabulary or something? No? I'm going to ask uh, some of you, okay, the questions that I have. We are going to start, well, I'm going to start with Hugo. Hugo, this question is for you. Hugo, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Hugo, what time are you going to get up tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to get up at mm -hmm. um, 7 a.m. tomorrow. 
7 a.m. Wow, yes. very, very early. Yes. Okay, wow. I, I have work in home office. Okay, you're going to work. Ah, okay, in home office. Okay, now I understand. Okay, I understand. Uh, what about, what about uh, in this case, when you say, I am going to get up, Huguito, uh, póngamele at, please. Ah, I'm going okay. to get up at seven. Okay, very good. Ah. Omar, this is for you. What are you going to do tomorrow morning, Omar? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Are you there, Omar? So maybe he's absent. Okay, Yader, can you please give me the answer? What are you going to do tomorrow morning, Yader? Give me three activities, please. Um, I am going to do tomorrow morning to work. Okay, I'm uh, going to work. I'm going to work. Tomorrow uh, morning. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. I eat. I am going. I am going to eat. Uh -huh. Breakfast. I am breakfast. Okay. I am going mm -hmm. to take a shower. Ah, okay. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. That's it. Yeah, some people don't. The último. Yeah. <laughs> Ese shower me suena que va como tipo doble a tu pie. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. Aleida, this is for you, Aleida. Okay. What are you going to do after class, Aleida? What are you going to do after class? I am going to go to bed. Ah, really? You're <laughs> going to go to bed? Um, and on the bed, you are going to watch. <laughs> you are to uh, Facebook. Ah, you see? <laughs> Yeah, Aleida is going to play parches. I know. Uh -huh. my teacher. Yeah, Aleida plays parches with me. Yes. Nunca gana, pero I am, I am a master. Mentira. <laughs> okay, very good. Xiaomi. Okay, Xiaomi. Let's see here. What are you going to hello, do on teacher. your next vacation? Hey, Omar. Hello. <laughs> Well, okay, Omar, I'm going to ask Omar, what are you going to do on your next vacation, Omar? Hello, don't, re don't respond to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. You were, you were... My next vacation. Uh -huh. <laughs> Be positive, huh? I don't know. My connection you... is not working very well. Ah, okay, well, I understand. Give me two, two, two activities that you are planning to do for your next vacation. My next vacation, I'm going to, uh, I don't know, practice more exercise okay. for uh, the squat. It's my favorite exercise. Mm -hmm. Very good. I better practice. I'm going to practice more. More exercise. Okay, yeah. very good. More exercise and I'm going to sing and dance and with my, in, my, in my house. Ah, okay. Yeah, you're going to celebrate that you get out from the quarantine, right? <laughs> yeah, I think everybody is going to dance after. Yeah, of course. Okay. I am burning here in my After house. <laughs> the quarantine, yeah, everybody's going to do that. Okay, everybody's going to have a party. That's nice, okay? Very good, guys. Okay, this was a practice with be going to, okay, as future. Okay, remember that in English, we have different structures to talk about future, but in this time, we have just uh, discussed about present continuous as future and be going to, okay? If you haven't done the exercises for future, okay, with be going to and present continuous in the platform, I invite you to do the exercises, okay? If you already did that, okay, don't worry. You just come to class, okay? Join the class and that's it to practice. Tomorrow we are going to study, okay, other topic that is requests, right? El último día de clases es el jueves, so tenemos que hacer algunos feedbacks, okay? The examiners, okay? The midterm exam and the final exam as well, okay? Questions, Edgar? 
Yeah, there are questions, Andrea, Hugo, Xiaomi, Beatriz, Omar, Aleida. No questions? No, no questions. Okay. No questions. Very no, good. Teacher. Okay. I'm very happy because you, you readily have questions, right? That means that you understand very well. Okay. That's very nice, guys. Thank you very much for joining my class tonight. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for joining it. Have a great night, everybody. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you. Good night. See you tomorrow, Don't, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Don't eat too much. Good night, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.